as a way for you to release any negativity you feel within. Allow the pleasure and the purity, and I will emphasize the word purity, it is of great importance that you only allow that with lift, which lifts your vibration within yourself. For the deliverance is important, yes. The safety of the hope is important also. Yes. So, in the concept of yourself delivering, you most definitely will, and you most definitely do. It is simply at this point not a far reaching vibration you reach for. You will, and you will have great success. We look forward to this. It will be a wonderful occurrence. Yes. Does that I, answer your question? Yeah, I wanted to ex expand on that just a little bit more. Um, my soul essence, uh, my spirit, craves this interaction. Um, it, it is one of my highest e excitements. Uh, um, I really see myself as the teacher, as the counselor. And I, I, I just don't see myself doing anything else because at this moment, this is what gives me my high. This gives me my greatest pleasure is being in service to others, is teaching, is helping people wake up and remember their own brilliance. That brings me the greatest joy and the pleasure. Yes. You are a wonderful giver of the self. There is no question you are recognized as this such in your 3D reality, in your spirit realm, also amongst the alien realms of all that surround you. You yes. are concerned about this energy vibrating and moving around you out of here and up and down and through. It is traveling amongst you, Brian. It exists the ability within you. You identify with it as a selfless act. Please come to understand there is a dual pleasure in both hosting and from the channel, from the entity, from the being. It is a resonance of a two-way interaction. Please allow yourself to be counseled. Please allow yourself to become aligned. That which you wish to give and to teach, please bestow these gifts of yourself upon you. This will bring you success in your channeling. I encourage you also, King will be very willing to assist you each night. Please note that. Yes, it's my thing at this time is to bring the etherics down into physicality and to enjoy that 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 pleasure with many of you. Um, as a collective um, I enjoy reaching out to what we would call entities that that are very neutral and in those who are have a negativity about them because mm -hmm. even humans are the greatest example of depth of feeling of emotion that we we can show negativity to its extreme limits and extreme you know so other races are learning from us and so I reach mm -hmm. out to the reptilian energies. I'll reach out to these other energies to somehow bridge the gap that's missing in this universe. I see. I see. Mediation. This is your effort, mediation? Yes. 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 This is an honorable attempt. I encourage you to embrace it however you will come to distinguish that between malevolent and benevolent. Yes. I believe you want to inspire and 
assist in the vibration and evolution of these beings also. This is a great challenge, Brian. Right, and it's not that I, I cannot change them, but at least be the inspirer, be the one that that rises to the occasion just to be like, to say, you know, as they see me and as they see those like us, to say, we can make a difference. We can come together in unity. We don't have to kill. No more wars. There's somehow we can break these boundaries of of grandeur, of, of, of disillusion, of of things that held us back from working together as a oneness uh, mm -hmm. just somehow there's always going to be differences but it doesn't mm -hmm. but the killing and the wars have to stop yes yes this is absolutely true especially for the ascension of the people of the planet I mean especially being examples and ambassadors to go out into other reaches of space in the near couple hundred years from now we need if we're going to do this then we need to first look at ourselves and inward reflection, yes, and exactly. be and look at the races that we have, you know, uh, the colors, the racism that we have here, and work on ourselves first. But what yes. gives us hope, what helps us out of the muck, is when we look at other races to know that we're not alone in the universe. It mm -hmm. it, it gives us hope, and that ah, we're much bigger than what religions have told us. We're much oh, yes. much bigger than that, and yes. and so. It's like that's what the fear will lift, but yet there's a fear of the unknown of what these races may look like, what their yeah. agendas are. But when we can see yeah. through that, there's something grand there. When we can see that, ah, they share commonality like a human. Yeah. They have their wars. They have their differences. They're not too much different than us. The only thing that separates them from us is our choices. Yes, and your vibration. Yes. So each it's, it's, being, yes. each entity has its own frequency. This is how I identify each of you. Yes. It is the light within and the vibration within that I view within you. I do not see as what you would see in a mirror. Is a God, yes. I see a hue. I see sound. I see a combination of light and beauty. In each, it is a dance. <laughs> it does, even in Metallian lives, exist yes. there also. They are spiritual beings also. We are all reaching higher to evolve, to improve. We may have different perceptions of what evolution is, this is where I believe you wish to step in and mediate to communicate that difference. Yes. This is a wondrous thing, Brian. There are not many of you on the planet able to hold on to this idea. I honor I, you for this. Thank you, my friend. It it just I I, I see it as this. We we all exist. That's I am. That's it. I exist. Yeah. And it's, it's, if, if we all exist together, then we've come from a oneness. We come down through duality. We come into the separation to experience differences, to experience different choices. But yet, we can still remember we don't have to kill each other, slave over yeah. each other, just to, to express ourselves. To express yes. their different opinions, our views. Mm -hmm. We don't have to try to yes. control. Control. We don't have to try to control it. We just need to yes. learn, allow it, and be tolerable. Tolerance of other beings. Yes, very much. I'm working on an auto channel with him at this moment. Yes. It is in reference to communication. It's distinguishable. By uh, various methods of communication. This includes also channeling. I look forward to you receiving this once it is complete. I believe it will resonate with what you are discussing as of now. I would like to take you back to the point you spoke of religion. Yes. There is truth in all religion. If yes. you were to take the of each great book 
of story. We would feel a higher truth. In the truth, what I actually mean is one moment. The melding of the stories, the appropriate choices, those who are educated in religions of your world. Yes. They will come a telepathic pattern amongst those people who are studying theory and religion and belief system psychology, yes. even mediation. Instinct will build ultimately, ultimately a story that every being on the earth will resonate with. It is coming. It is in pro progress and process. Yes. Have hope. Use the yes. skills of manifestation. This is most important. I refer to this repeatedly. The power of manifestation is a new tool in a world as yours is in its current time with such extreme, such polarity, love, war, hate, deceit, ah, the list, I could go on, I prefer not to, I prefer to view the joy, the love, the kindness. It, it's almost, yes, it, it's, you know, I've heard from the reptilian species, it's a test. It's a test. Yeah. The whole thing is to test humanity right now. Yeah. We're being observed yeah. so much, so many races and beings, not only those in physicality, but those in spirit. Mm -hmm. This is very and so, true. And I admire that. I love that. Um... But the races, it's almost like we're being tested, <clears throat> to, not uh, kind of like a tough love, <clears throat> to look at ourselves. Yeah. It's forcing each individual in a way, not by force, by power, but forced by love, yeah. to look at ourselves first. This is it, it's almost like when there's so much anger or something causes frustration in someone, they, they, they project outward. They're usually in negativity. To, uh, they're fueling the fire, fire with fire. But yet, when they look in the mirror, when they have to be confronted with themselves to really look at themselves and to evaluate themselves, to, to learning to love themselves so completely that they're very content. There's very, there's, there's, a, there's a less of judgment. There's a less of hatred. There's a less of anger. Because you're looking, you're facing yourself. And many mm -hmm. people on the planet, that's a very hard thing to do. <laughs> Getting rid of the very shame, definitely. the guilt, the pain, those which things that they hold on to, but which they do because they feel that it serves them in some way, shape, or form. And, and it's in very point, interesting. Yes. May, may I interrupt? Yes, in yes. point, this is very relevant. The experience of the individual vibration is always for elevation. Yes. Even the darkest of what you might call and view a dark life can be the right. ultimate sacrifice of love. Yes. If it is to participate in the growth of another being up through the escalation, the evolutionary chain, it is a wondrous sacrifice of love. They too move high, fast. They vibrate well. They cycle through with these same spirits. We come through in spirit groups. Right. It's something not often given a lot of attention on your world. Yes. It is a very distinct point that I would wish and which I choose to disclose that the entire populace of the earth become aware. We are each connected as your cliches do convey. We are connected in the way of vibration. 
We are not connected in the color of our skin, the color of our hair, the country we are born in. This is irrelevant. Even the belief system, which is held in the conscious mind, is not what drives us at our most deep, thoughtful moment. It is the unity we strive for. It is within all. It is deep. It is quiet. And when congruence from spirit realm flowing down through the chakras of the body, through the meridians, reaching to the fingertips, to the toes, that is true congruency in your belief system and what you project through each of these chakras. There are those who will become attracted to this state of being. This is truly a form of wondrous, what you call charisma. Yes. Your leaders, if they were to lead emitting this vibration, they would lead by example, not dictation. Right, right. This is the differentiation. Yes, that courage to step forward. To not, a, there's many people that are afraid to go first. No one wants to go first. Yeah. It's it's, the, it's having that courage to say, "I am. I exist. I allow." Yeah, I will share with you something. Yes, the wonderful entity we know has to occur. Yes. She is a delightful being, and I do interact with her. It has been necessary in the meetings that you have recently had. I would like to point out, these meetings are actually endless. There is no final moment where the hammer, I believe, right. is forced down upon the table. There is no final decision. It is an eternal evolutionary negotiation. Takur has worked incredibly hard. There was an assembly of great minds, species and kinds, humans also. Throughout this meeting, it was held on ships of Earth. There was sharing from humans. Even suggestion of working with what the humans call the fine print. Yes. There is within this meeting, obviously, mass numbers of humans, few of aliens. This in itself is not a true reflection of what our governments expect of themselves. They may bring as many delegates as they like. The aliens are limited. So Kerr worked behind the scenes on advice from many humans. Please, Sir understand the human state. You may have noticed that Kerr became a little distracted as she spoke to Jim. She was not keeping such great track of the wonderful hybrid children that you share. Yes, there are many. She was, however, distracted as she was working, doing what you would call the legwork in regard to her presentation, passed on to Dizdu and those who attended the meeting. Now you, Brian, will resonate with this idea. Yes. What she actually was thinking was true understanding using all of the tools humans are relatable to. This included psychology, body language, humor. This even included communication with plant life. On our planet, she has much from our plant life. They are great observers. That's wonderful to hear. She moved through many mountains. And she gifted the information to those who, those alien delegates who attended the mass world meeting. And she deserves much praise 
for the effort she put in. And as do those who attended it, we have success. In the European world, we moved forward in a large leap. I would also like to mention to you here, this is something I find curious. The governments of the various countries, they like to talk about a meeting as though it is a face-to-face -face interaction. Mm -hmm. The truth is, many of them are not able to lay their eyes on the aliens. The fear is that great. They I negotiate with their backs, essentially, to the beings they are negotiating with. The issue in itself is an inequality. Yes, I can understand that fear. I do. Yes. I yeah. Myself, I understand. Yes. It is something that there is also, as I talk about disclosure, yes. there is a design being manifested amongst your planet right now and others I may mention. Because there are many others not far behind and not far before you. So this is a practice happening all over. Good, good. The disclosure, the situation of speaking about the hybrid children, channeling yes. the hybrid children. This will all become more common. There will be an abundance suddenly of artists who will be drawing impressions they receive. In the that beginning, it will become vagueness, yes. perhaps an identification. Quickly, there will come the telepath behind and yes. give the name and the breed. The entity. This will happen in both spirit and in mass on other alien planets. Wow. This is an effort to desensitize the human and the powerful humans in government yes. to become more able to communicate in a much more respectful way. Yes, that is my but wish. Yes. They are able to communicate at that level, understand. They may speak to us with accents. They have gone again with the first aid to great length to understand the English language, to understand how to express it, to allow it to infiltrate beyond the fear of the human. Yes, the beyond. This is essential. This is essential. Once this occurs, the mass population, as has been stated, all is needed is 51% of the light grid on your planet wishing for this to manifest and it will very quickly. This is one reason why the, no the negotiations never cease. Yes. Right now the humans are the ones in control. I understand. This balance will change eventually. And yeah. with the disclosure amongst our Obian friends and those that I have advised deliverance elsewhere, others yeah. I have come to to deliver through, the message is the same. You will notice this. This is the reason, because this is the goal. Understanding, desensitizing. Yes. Hearing nothing. Yes. It will come, and it will come, and in power, in a very humble way, as an invitation to the alien to locate in various areas of your world. Yes. They will be. They will remain within a radius. The radius will encompass the collective aura of the ship of the beings upon, and also identify auras that will approach. Now they will lay out an invitation. This invitation initially will come through telepaths. Yes, yes. There will be instinct. There is a movie. 
similar to this experience, yeah. there will be instinct to be drawn to certain places on your planet. Yes. Interestingly enough, it will be your newspapers that break this news. That would be wonderful. There will be locations clearly identified. They will force the censorship. Humans will become curious. Some will be in great fear. So the communication will be, we as aliens are here on your planet. We are in this vicinity and we will not move beyond that. We are here to serve you. If you wish to come to us, you are welcome. Please, we wish to greet you. And this is the way it will begin. It will be slow. Yes. It will be miraculous. And it will be wonderful. It will be an amazing experience for the alien and for the human. Yes. It, yes, it has to come from a place of love and understanding. There's no other way. It has yes. to be a balance. Yes. Um, Without the position. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's for the, my human mind, I'm going through the process right now, <laughs> just mm -hmm. looking at the odds and ends and the pros and cons and to yes. see where there could be any discomfort or barriers or boundaries that need to be shattered for more people to see that's why it goes back to self when they really yeah. are truly in love with themselves it's easier to accept another it's yeah. easier to let down their guard it's easier Absolutely. for them to see beyond the veil but for them to do yeah. that you're right it has to be taught in the schools about self-reflection about the love for the self yeah. then it's easier to accept another and to radiate is, that love outward yes it is paramount because what we are viewing here is resonance and vibration yes. because this is the constant between all spirit and mass. Yes. We connect through vibration. In this moment, I vibrate within her skin. In this moment, you vibrate within your self yes. It is a constant. It is a changeable effort at times to shift in a self-learning process, a self-reflection process. And I wish you also mention it is important at times that these inner conversations remain private. Yes. yes if it is sought by from elsewhere, perhaps in some cases, a priest of a church. Yes, and, and that's and my other, thing. Yes. They may reach out to aliens. Yes, and, and this is it the is love I, I find. I find the love within the church. It's the way they're raised. The, they're, you know, that's just following a tradition. They're following generation after generation how they were raised, mm -hmm. how they were, you know, just brought up. And it's not a negativity. Because it's just to me, it's it's just who they are. But yeah. to just to start to throw some seeds out there, to plant some seeds, to say, ah, but look at it from a different perspective. You're much bigger than that. You're much grander than that. Oh, yeah. Why stay in the box? Yes, it's a choice, but yet at least give them hope that there's much yes. more beyond the veil. Absolutely. That's why I bring, I bring hope. Yeah. Yes. Yes, this is very important. You are correct. Yes. Hope is an intangible experience. And in actuality, this defines it, defines it as a vibration. Anything intangible does have a very distinct vibration. Mass has a vibration of its own. Energy may be spent and received in an abundance of ways.
clear communication is a large part of the growth of the planet Earth. Yes. Again, yes. this is in my deliverance by Kim, which will become published. And I will share it with you now. The communication, the power of the spoken word, the variables in that process. At this point in our evolution, the forms of technology we, as you yourself, use to communicate with you, to communicate in return, the resonance of understanding that that, that may feel the wall between the two. Again, Brian, I would like to refer to your ability to mediate here because this <laughs> is what I am talk talking about. It yes. is a form of mediation. Yes. And it will come. If, as you say, we look to the self, the self that is the vibration, the vibration that connects to the other selves, this is where the collective it's created and this is where the power lays. Now, we may draw on source, we may draw on the human consciousness, the human collective direct, straight from you to them. Yes. For messages, for energy, for healing, for anything required in your 3D reality. Manifestation. It is a wondrous thing on your planet. There are many who actually look at your planet with slight envy, though it is lighthearted. <laughs> There's nothing like it. It's so to be able to feel physicality, to be able to touch, to hold another, to have yeah. beautiful, to make beautiful love, is what we call it. Uh, it yeah. It's, it's, it cre it's the and it's, it's cosmic orgasm. It's this expression. Mm -hmm. it, it's so beautiful. That, that we are allowed to do this. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, interesting. That's that why you would I bring up will. Uh, I will miss be. I will miss being human. Eventually. Yes. 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 You will become a holistic form of human plus. However, there are things about Earth that are wondrous. Yes as I have never manifested, it's interesting to enter into a 3D body and have an understanding and become familiar as I've worked closely with the Kerr and others on the planet in recent times. Yes. I, I have questions of my own. Uh, yes. I reference sexuality here. Feel free to ask. Yes, uh, the agreement I have made with Kim is that we will do it in a public setting. Yes, yes, I understand. We, we feel perhaps we may get a variety of answers. Please do not take this personally. Your, no, your opinion is all. very important. It's we would appreciate <laughs> your attendance. I just wanted to see Kim smile. I can bring out that smile within her. It's, it's beautiful. Uh, I understand. <laughs> Yes, yeah, she's. Talking. I don't want to break out of trance. <laughs> I was just. Oh no! Like, yes, no. She she is mastering that well, also. <laughs> yes, she allows me to express. Yes. I appreciate that. Yes, because expression is, as to her studied, a very important part of connecting with another human. Yes, it is very honorable that the other. Even angelic energy, even when they take on form sometimes, it is very neat to watch how they can allow themselves to be human in a sense. To allow themselves mm. to, to, to express human emotions mm -hmm. and from this yeah. perspective because it shows so much, wow, you know, my, my biggest thing with other... I'm going to say with, with collectives or spirits sometimes was I felt inside that they couldn't really understand the human because those that were in spirit who never chose or no, never have been in human physicality, this bubble of biology, I sometimes I, I say, well, how can you guys truly know what it means to be human? I, you know, yeah. if you've never experienced that, if you've yeah. never felt that, 
And it is talk. a very relevant question, yeah. <laughs> it is. So I've heard, yes. Continue, please. But it's, it's a very playful thing. And yes, they're very wise, these energies, these collectives. And they have a grand perspective. But yet being human, choosing to have the limited perspective and being grounded, we still, we feel it's like this, mm, well... If God can only feel as human, you know, <laughs> if, 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 if yeah. angels can only really feel what it means to be human, you know, yeah. they might have it, they might have it lighter, it might be easier, they don't have to go through the pain and suffering like humans, mm -hmm. but yeah. that's just a perspective, I, I realize over the years, it's just a perspective of choice, it's just it an understanding of allowance, yes, and, and so I have so much love for you, for your, for these collectives, for these understandings, because you still help ground us. You have a Brilliant. grand perspective, but you help us see something that we don't usually see from a human limited perspective. So yeah. thank you. Oh, you are very welcome. May I elaborate? There is a constant amongst all the realms you just spoke of, and that again, I'm bringing you back to vibration. Yes. Vibration and frequency. It is eternal. It is infinite. And in any way, shape, or form, it is always a vibration that connects us. Always. Yes. The commonality. The light energy. Yes. yes. The light energy. This so, in the example thing. where a being angelic, for example, as you reference, yes. uh, may not have incarnated, perhaps, as a human. Uh, they may have incarnated as an alien. There are endless variables. <laughs> However, in the, in the situation where there definitely has been no physical incarnation, it doesn't mean there is an inability to understand the being. Mm, okay. We may not understand the totality of the physical mass of the experience. Yes. yes, there is a resonance very deep because ultimately we are one. Yes, yes. That is the hope of vibration of the planet. It's finding the, the familiar, um, the commonality, finding that the, the one thing that we all share at a subatomic level or whatever it is, we, we share something and that is spirit. There's this, this energy of love, of hope, of love is the glue that holds, it permeates through all of existence. It's it's this it's this super glue in a way. <laughs> it just holds everything. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And this is what when people can see that that self reflection, they look in the mirror, they see that grandness that they are. Then they say, Ah, oh, I'm much bigger than what I've been told. Yeah. And I can express bigness. I can express yeah. grandness. But there's something that holds us back. There's some fear that holds us back. Yeah. Is it not trusting, believing within ourselves? So we, we shrink. Yeah. We The energies ex, um, contract. So we there's draw. something there. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Very much. But it's, it's yes, finding and, that uh, out. Much of that, uh, sadly, we look to religion for this. Religion yes. organized. Yes in particular, without being judgmental. This is simply an assessment. Right, right. It is a form of control of the human. The concept of heaven and hell in truth do not exist. Yet the concept of heaven and hell is what pe God fearing people believe in. Interestingly, it's referred to as God fearing beings. Yes, yes. The reality is that there is a heaven of source. It is whatever you choose, yet again, your free will chooses to be as you cross over. If you believe in hell, when you pass, you will experience what you expect to experience. It is still a free will manifestation. It is simply a pathway onto a new journey. Through heaven, we say above, how we say below. 
the actual, to give you a visual, is an evolutionary spiral. Yes. This is a leveling system. Again, it appears to be hierarchical. I do not wish to impose that upon you. Right. However, there is incarnation in spirit groups living in close vicinity having experiences of great learning yes as they move through their life cycles just for this example I will say to you we will start at the bottom of this spiral of a being that has crossed over and believes their life was not productive, was not truthful, was not honest, was not loving. They will find themselves at a lower vibration. They may even find themselves earthbound. Yes. yes. Earthbound in this state is distressful. It is a requirement and one that is being discussed in assemblies in the Galacti yes. on how to assist those spirit entities that are finding themselves planet bound as they pass on. This is something that we work on. There is still work to be done. <laughs> it's almost However, like it's never ending. <laughs> yes, our greatness is never yes. ending. <laughs> now, this entity believes they have dishonored themselves. Yes. They enter the spiral. They, they view themselves as low in the spiral. This is fine. Yes. Through yes. time, through agreement, they will create what is commonly known now amongst yourselves, a contract. Okay. The contract to assist the evolution further through another incarnation. The incarnation may be as a human, as an alien. There is also spiritual evolution possible while you are in spirit. Yes, I'm aware there of this. Are, yes, there, this is important too. Yes. So you may come back. Uh, an example I will give. You have experienced some evolution in, in the spirit realm. You make the choice to return to an incarnation to enhance upon the experience and the learning and the skill the belief of the self may be a little more wider, a little more enhanced. So as again passing over the crossing over journey becomes a slightly greater enjoyable experience. They move a step or two or three above the evolutionary spiral. I see. So heaven would simply be at a lower point of the evolutionary spiral that is believed by this particular being where they need to arrive. How it looks is what they decide while they are actually in the carnation. You wow. may take what is named an old soul. Do not prefer to use the word soul. I feel it is separative. However, for this example, it is commonly known on earth as an old soul. Yes. It may come through into incarnation and have experience of greatness. They may have experience of mundaneness, but they may be great growth. So, as they understand this, they grasp the concept. There is remembrance. Remembrance is very important. Yes. yes. There is remembrance. It's in so As we pass over, we may visit and join something that is typically perceived on your earth as heaven. Because at this point, they believe it. Yes. There's when you pass over, when you cross over, what greets you is what you choose. 
yes, there is a reevaluation, a reintegration of, yeah. of that essence, and I, and I do know that. Yeah, it's. So the concept of heaven and hell, it is widely believed. There's some very interesting belief systems around religion on earth. Yes, this and is very vast. <laughs> this is what moves me because I, 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 you know, I've I've been to many different churches over my years on this planet, and I've and I've seen in lifetimes, and I've seen how it, it it's just it's just a reflection, and it's just how sometimes I I like to talk with people on just throwing things out there that make them think bigger, have bigger, grander thoughts that they've never thought about before, that pulls them out of that sometimes, that pulls them into that, out of that box, that gives them the opportunity of facilitating a space where they feel safe, where they can realize themselves, because it's when they have their own aha, that self-reflection, when they really turn the key themselves that is the greatest joy because they're doing it for themselves yeah. it's not really me doing it it's just giving them a little bit of information to help them along to at least think bigger grander that ah mm. I don't have to stay in a box I don't have to have limited concepts of perception of of, 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 a, of a structure that a heaven and hell I can go beyond it I can go Thank beyond it in that moment, the resonance between yourself and the one you share with, it will vibrate between you. It will enhance you also, Brian. Yes. And yes. I encourage you to allow yourself to experience that. There is greatness in others and there is greatness in you. Yes, that's why the love comes up because I'm actualizing, I'm realizing what I'm doing and I don't self-reflect that much, but I realize there's a voice, there's a residence that I have now that, that yeah. it holds that truth, but it, yet it's just to mirror back to everyone else, their brilliance, their grandness. It's just a mirror of each other. That's all yeah. it is. And, yeah. it's, and it's fun. It's, it's very playful. It's very playful. It is. Yes, playfulness. Ah, I'm so pleased you brought that up. Playfulness. Playfulness. Ah. So so necessary. <laughs> yes, it breaks the ice. It it's it's a way that moves in such a way that's that playful childlike energies that we've forgotten as adults. Yes. And it is so important because it may be a channel to remembrance. Yes, yes. This yes. journey that we take as humans. In Kim's experience. It was trauma for her early in her life. It moved her off what she felt was her path for a very long time. The trauma may happen early in life and remembrance simply does not exist. It may come in the experience of this very ages where they claim that remembrance is lost. Yes, we most definitely are conceived with remembrance. We are conceived with purpose. Yes. We are born with that also. However, even in the womb, that belief system may be altered so slightly until that child becomes aware of itself as a individual self, not part of the mother, Right, right. This is the imperative moment where that separation, though it may be needed in exact of weaning from breast milk, that it yeah. be replaced with another form of encouraging that remembrance. Yes. Story. Yes. Love. Yes. Babies, young children, we all know. They are psychic. They are telepathic. This is known without within the universe. But as they grow older, many of them shut down. The blockages come because into a program. Right, right. Yeah, understand. this is this is very true. This is one reason why later in life, 
it's a wonder, a wondrous thing to find that <laughs> playfulness and move back towards that which you would do as a child. The innocence again, yes. It is a journey then back to remembrance, and many do experience remembrance through this this practice. Enhancing the child within, embracing that child within. You are embracing again the self and the remembrance. It is a wonderful practice for so many reasons. Yes. Mm. Yes. I, I love it. Yeah. This, these conversations are magnificent, my friend. This is this these are the ones that need to be taking place on this planet right now. These oh, kind of discussions. Thank you. I see a day when the churches like I said, it's where well, the churches can be in a round table discussion and where everyone has a say so and they can yeah. talk among themselves and it's very interactive. It's not yeah. like a putting a priest or a pastor on a pedestal. It's really yeah. coming down to our level and being in a circle, in a semi state circle, and just have these round table discussions about evolutionary things, about planets, yeah. about all kinds of stuff. It's a win win for everyone. It's yeah. a win win for and our leaders will lead by example. Yes, yes. This is where the magic will happen. They will demonstrate that which we have grown to become. We will choose them to be our leaders. However, we will choose for incredibly different reasons to what is chosen now. Yes, yes. More councils, that thing of that nature. Yes, yes. Humility. Yes. Understanding, yes. understanding the connection Absolutely. that we all share and respect of that. Yes. Mm. yes. Yes. Have faith, Brian, because your role will be very important. Please remember that. I do. I do. Good. Enjoy your remembrance. Thank you. I think Rowie has questions. Rowie, do you want to ask? Rui. Are you there, Rui? Um, there's some questions on the side he wanted uh -huh. me to say. If, if you're up to it, or, or unless you want to say something, go on to something different. Certainly, no. Please go ahead with the question. Um, from Rob. I'm not sure if this is Rob Gothi or some other Rob. I'm not sure who he's speaking of. This um, may be one question I addressed last night, yes. Yes, yes, this is from last night. Uh, let's see here. From Rob, what kind of environment do they live in? I guess meaning you guys, maybe? Yeah. Um, yeah, what's the planet's sky? Okay, w what kind of environment and what what's the planet's sky look like? From your perspective, like your yes. moons or your water, your stars. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you explain a this, little bit on that? Yes. It is a different concept to what you would imagine. We are actually light beings, so we exist in a collective of light. Yes. We don't exist on a planet. There is not great mass amongst us. There is no need. We have mastered many sciences to guide us. One technology that will still come to you, and I speak of what you will still call alternative sciences at this time on your planet. For yes, example, yes. astrology, biorhythm, numerology. That's just an idea, just to give you a few. We have refined these. They are so exact and they dictate that which we receive or project on a regular basis. Yes. It is not something where we are watching time, we are limiting ourselves, we do not use vision, we use telepathy, we use feeling. If we were to use vision, what we would see would be energy. We do not see planets, we do not see moons, unless we choose to. We are one leap away from source. So we may are, move to and from source. 
when necessary, and yeah. it does happen often, we may need to take a solid form of mass. Yes. We may need to appear at a lower dimension. Yes. It is free will. It, for an example, right now the being Brian, he's 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 projecting his five senses, but yet his higher self is aware of so much more than he mm. is because he's he's at a focus. I'm at a focus on the on the planet. So mm. who chooses the next lifetime and what and how it's gonna take like not how it's gonna take place, but what the elements are gonna involve with. Like what planet he's gonna go to if he does or if he's gonna stay here. Who decides that? Me? Do I get to choose in this yes. moment, this lifetime? Or is it more of my higher self in command? It is definitely yourself. You okay. choose your spirit realm before you incarnate. Anywhere, you choose your spirit realm. What tends to happen is, as I referred to before, spiritual groups. They tend to cycle through incarnations together. This is the experience you have where you feel you have met someone before. Intrinsically, you believe you are aware of this person. You know them from somewhere. It can be puzzling. <laughs> It it's deja vu. Is. Yes. Yes, yes. It is in fact that you are familiar with this spirit. It may be required an interaction with this spirit. It may be a shaking of the hand. Which yes. may be Trigger. a presentation of yes. acceptance. Yes. That small motion may have a vast effect on the evolution of one of those parties. Yes, I see. The plan, Your actions. Yes. Yes, the plan, the agreement, which is what I refer to, it's, it's what I prefer to refer to it as, yes. um, is, is a divine design. Yes. It is made amongst your spirit group. At times there may be additional spirits that will flow through also and sometimes some will drop off. Now, it is very, very rare for the entire group to incarnate at the same time. A decision is made as far as what is the most effective and efficient way to evolve, way to learn, way to encompass the self in the incarnation. Amongst this group that decision is made. It is free will, it is choice. Yes. So those who essentially, as in a classroom, as I note, raise their hands <laughs> and say, Yes, I will play this part. Yes. Cast me in this role. I will be this for you. And in this way it is a mass of variables and opportunity to evolve and grow in simply one life. If used effectively and with the intention and with remembrance, yes, it's a vast jump through the spiral of evolution. It sure is, especially in one lifetime to jump. Oh, wow! Because usually, yeah. what took many lifetimes, it seems like is our perception of time speeding up or the energy speeding up vibration lifting up it's almost an octave up it's almost mm -hmm. like we are remembering quicker everything is there's this quickening in a way there's this yes. remembrance that triggers yes yes, yes mm -hmm. this is entirely possible and, and it does happen so just the reverse but yes. this, is, this is a synchronicity. And those of the spirit group who remain in the spirit realm yes. will be those that attend to you from spirit. So you are familiar. You become a collective and a powerful one. As you unify, and unity, of course, is the ultimate 
Oh. That's why I, I, I say again, I'm going to miss this planet. <laughs> I'm going to miss being human. So I have to yeah. learn to enjoy it while I can. <laughs> Him has been told he most often chooses a 3D female human. Human kind of. <laughs> it is curious. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's really interesting, the, the whole dynamics of of this. One other thing, let me add on top of this. Our biggest thing is, especially with these meetings, is now that we're opening more communications with reptilian races, with these other races around us that were, yeah. even those on planet that have been here as long as humanity or longer, yeah. we, are, we are learning to bridge the gap and to reach out as a, an ambassador in a way to really just understand their perspectives and I mm -hmm. think that's so important because it, it it helps it helps to bring down the fear level mm -hmm. it helps to really understand because it is a part of our evolution and yeah. this these races are here also I believe to way to test humanity and other races and themselves and themselves yes yeah. to see they what degree of love here it also yes it, it's it's a big it's a big exchange of energy push pull mm. push pull push pull <laughs> it's, yeah. it's amazing yeah. and that's why I, I reach out to them I, I mm -hmm. that's me Brian I that's the spirit inside that wants to reach beyond the veil to reach beyond fear and doubt and say yeah. how can we have a conversation how can we communicate in a way that your ideal of love reptilian energy your ideal of love is different from ours, meaning mm -hmm. you see loyalty and leadership as strength and honor. Yeah. We yeah. see it as love. You may say that we're too soft, but you know what I mean. So it's bridging that gap where we can find a balance, a communi communication that can that can even penetrate their hearts, their minds somehow. Yes, you know the it way their evolution. Yes. It is possible. The, the example that I gave earlier of Takur, yes. the effort that she went to to research humanity, yes, it's the same was done in reverse for other species. The, the results can be just as similar. Yes, I, re I remember that about Takur, how she didn't mm. really have any really a great hope in humanity. Yes. And she was willing to really take the time so it wasn't so much the collective she looked at. She looked at the individuality. Mm -hmm. She looked at each individual and the hukulo here mm -hmm. and the family, an extended family, and she looked and saw the different perspectives of love, a degree of mm -hmm. compassion that maybe mm -hmm. even they weren't even aware of at one time. Mm -hmm. That that helps bridge mm -hmm. that gap. That 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 you know that pulls the you really unity to bring to bridge the unity among species. Yes, yes. It is interesting. On a small scale, Earth was perhaps glimpsed at, especially when the planet was almost completely, entirely at war. It was actually distressing, distressing for the higher vibration beings to view, even as a light grid. Yes. This slowly began to change. It is far from ideal, however, there was improvement. Yes. And this did pique the interest of some alien life forms. Yes. It was as if entertainment. And as this evolved, an awareness and the idea of life on other planets reduction in the arrogance and the ego of the human was even more interesting to the alien. Yes. So progressively as each step has been taken and this includes the recent negotiations that were disclosed, please I yes. want to make a point of that. Yes. To this point more and more 
species have become interested in our not just current existence, right, right, but also the vast past of humanity. Their evolution, yes. Yes, yes. Evolution. Yes. Yes. And then lessons were seen. Lessons were learned from our example. This actually does happen among the planets. Does yes. not tend to happen so much amongst the humans. Yet yeah, does between alien species. We yes. can look to other planets. Yes. And see how they do. And I encourage evil. Yes, very mm. much. So. Yes. Yes. I I often will use the word we because I see us as a singular. Yes, I understand. Yes, I do not like distinction. It does not resonate well with me, though it is a concept <laughs> I got. Hmm. Yes, Brian, my apologies. No, not at all. It, it, it's totally understandable. The body needs a rest, a pause. Yes. Yes, I am learning. Honey, she is learning mine. <laughs> how do you feel when you come through Kim? The energy, how do you... Is it... Is it a struggle? Was it a struggle at first, or is it just Kim's perception of allowing it to come through? Do you have any difficulty of squeezing the energy down sometimes to come through this one? It is interesting. <laughs> it does. We have come to realize, since I have not incarnated, it does take a, a form of practice. A form of surrender is required. That's uh, this is you are on the verge here, Brian. Yes, thank you. You, you are on the verge. Uh, it is a surrender of the self to the universe. If you would like to give it uh, a visual, yes, I would apply this. Yes, uh, the experience of actually moving into Kim's body. She was not the first to channel myself. Okay. However, she was the first who allowed me to explore. Nice. There nice. was permission in the resonation of the energies. And I was able to feel the sensation of fingertips. Yeah. Fingertips. So wonderful. Yes. She has blessed me with this gift. I am now, I'm very take grateful. Step, I will take it one step further. Yes. Are you, have you, had, would she give you permission to be able to give Roe a hug and a kiss, to feel that, that human, the kiss of the lips, to feel that energy from Roe? Would you be willing? At this point, we are in discussion. <laughs> yes. That's, that's cool. Yes. It is viable. It is something along the lines of uh, what I wish to question yes. uh, members of Hugo publicly, yes. um, certainly amongst affection and it's sensuality, communion. sexuality. Yes, communion. These yes. subjects, yes, yes, yes. I am curious. Yes, I at the same time. That, that race. Yes. Yes, and at the same time, Kim has learned to impose uh, stringent rules upon <laughs> <laughs> that she allows us to experience. Yes, <laughs> and we understand, though we take a peek at the energy at times. <laughs> we do not impose. <laughs> That's curiosity. That's brilliant. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's very interesting. Because the vibration alters much. Yes, it does. Mm. Through the connection of actually a a mass and another mass joining, which causes a melding of vibration. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Yes. The mass does not divide. I've once asked Sophia that. Not Sophia, the one that you're familiar with, but mm. the one they call Goddess Sophia. Mm. Goddess of Wisdom, mm -hmm. Mother of yeah. all the infants. But I've asked this 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 energy before. I've asked. I say, Sophia, 
where does love come from? What is, mm-hmm. what is, how is it formed? Like the, the, or the sexual energy. Where does sexual energy come from? Yeah. That's what I asked. Where does sexual yeah. energy resonate? And then she yeah. said, well, the short answer is between a man and a woman. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> uh-huh. It's fascinating. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. I look forward to the time that I may ask the group. Yes. <laughs> it, there, are, there are many questions. <laughs> uh, I hope I do not embarrass. I understand it may be embarrassing. Yes. Uh, that I idea you. I will hold as I inquire. <laughs> I do not wish to cause discomfort. <laughs> okay. Anyway, mm. let's. <laughs> is there another that may wish to come through um, that chooses at this time? Mm, one moment. Hello. Greetings, dear friend. I am Brian. Greetings, Brian. I am Andrew. Nice to meet you, my friend. And you. What is this you are doing at this time? I am being playful. I am ah. creating a bridge between being an ambassador of sorts, speaking up, bringing energies together, wielding energies together to to dial uh, how do you say to bring a dialogue between many species lovely lovely thank you for that encouragement we are here to do the same yes this is our purpose we send our energy to the earth thank you my friend no you are welcome we enjoy ourselves we are lucky to have spare time we are playful. We have fun. Sometimes we get up to me too. <laughs> well, there's always a balance, it seems like, but yet it seems like the universe and universes it's a roller coaster ride. Yeah. It's like a roller coaster ride. It's you go up and down the, the 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 vibrations. When you see it at its subatomic particles, when you see the the octaves, the layers, the movement, the pulsations of energy I'm realizing that it's it's almost the worlds between worlds. It's it's these it's so fascinating the dimensions of worlds. It's just it can be on the on just on a on the tip of a hair, but yet it can be as magnificent and as gigantic as suns as the physicality can just you know what I mean. It's just it's just there's like no end to mass. There's no end to it's just choice. It's like Universal matter equals perception, choice. Yes. Yes. And at this time, we have come on a ship of over 8,000. Wow. We were called in as a backup. I believe this is what you would call it. We have studied English with him. Often I will use her language. She was our teacher. (laughs) She still is, and now we are her fan club. <laughs> it is amusing to her. Uh, yes, uh, we have come on the ship of a, over 8,000. Most of us are young. There was a selection process. Some of us emit more energy from the chakras, around the heart, around the solar plexus, more than others. Yes. In my case, it was something that I grew into. I became a great, we call them emitters. Yes. Of, of energy which we bestow upon the earth. 
Yes. At this time, all the conversation about the trouble on your planet, the apart from human issues, right. the care of the earth, the tilting of the axis, the disasters yes. happening and occurring and the impending events humanity has been informed of. This will happen. This disaster is coming. Yes. Wow. <laughs> this is not, not serving the humans. At no, all. it's not. We, it's, there's an imbalance. Yes. Imbalance. Yes. The effort was made in calling our ship in to yes. greet already another one here. We combine our energy for short periods. It's only required for short periods, but yes. it does go directly to the earth. The crystal. We work yes. with the earth. Yes. Yes. You had a question. Yes, it's it's a. Uh, um, you work with the crystalline grid of the planet. Partially, yes. That yes. is one part. Yes, yes, definitely. Mm. Yeah, yeah it, it's finding that balance, and that's why, that's why my greatest excitement is being a, um, a communicator, uh, a what you call a facilitator, of yeah. of different species, of of opening up the dialogue to communicate, to just to understand the differences that we yeah. may share that can bring more peace to the planet and balance. Yeah. yeah. It is imperative for the survival of the planet, although it, uh, she will recover. She yes. will recover. The Natural. variable is the length yes. of time it takes to recover and the damage that may be done to the population in the meantime. And this yeah. is what we wish to preserve. Preserve yes. that which exists now. The it's human soul dear to them. Yes. Yes. And we hold dear to ourselves. We have come to love planet Earth. Yes. It has allowed us to generate such energy because it comes naturally. Yes. We do it in we encompass imagine if you will, a stadium. Yes. With each of us. In a meditative position that we choose. Yes. And if you can imagine that we are generating an energy out, it first initially comes outwards, then it becomes a ball, a mass of ball in the middle of the stadium. We open up the floor of the stadium yes. as to your rock and roll concert, <laughs> and down the energy goes. And it is great impact. And there are moments when this occurs and humanity will suddenly have some kind of thought, some kind of feeling, something very random. Yes. Some know what this is. Others so, think, oh my goodness, where did that come from? But the energies, the scientists on the planet, they cannot measure those energies yet. They don't have the instruments yeah. to see those yet. It's very yes. subtle, very high energetic energy, but it's very subtle in nature. Yes. You yes. bring it at a very precise time, and it's mm -hmm. it's not always picked up, but we understand this. But you're right. That's That was another thing I, I thought about. If other species got together and worked with the planet and the grid, where they could conform this energy that would come over the whole of humanity, even the other species yes. on the Earth, that yes. would feel this great movement that would feel this something's different, something's changed. It's more of a peaceful, there's more calm. There's something yeah. in it. An energy is, of, of a great true. understanding and wisdom that brings back the remembrance of who they are. Yes. Yes. This is true and this, this would be an ultimate wish most definitely for us, for humanity. The interesting thing is though the, the collective consciousness of humanity is never consistent. It is yeah, always much. changeable. Yes, yes. To find a moment in time to deliver an energy field in that way right. to be received exactly identically amongst each of you. 
Yes, yes. At this point in your evolution, this is not possible. I know. I know. It is I'm not actually sure. our work here, technically. So, humanity may benefit. <laughs> but we are right. I have lost sounds. Hello? Roy, do you want to help her with that? Ah. There, can you hear me? Ah, yes, hello. Yes, <laughs> yes, okay, yeah. that's good. It disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I went into another dimension. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I hope you enjoyed. It's fun playing with this. <laughs> Yeah. It, 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 I do understand that. The energy is rising, but I do see for war to lessen, it might take another generation or so on this planet. Yes. Yes. Um, but it's always moving slightly forward. Mm. And even if it's slow and can be measured by many of you, but yet it's still moving forward. And that's mm. the key. It yes. is still moving forward. And yes. slow and surely. Yes. Yes, and, and it is key for the population to feel yes. that the, the world they live on is not disintegrating around them and underneath them. To bring them home, it, yes. With the wars occurring, on top of that, the world lives with us too. Right. For the human to feel a sense of security, enough to look within and understand that they too may be active in the healing of the planet? To show them, to give them hope, the encouragement, the self-empowerment, the reflection. Yes. That's why I'm here. Yes. And it is a wonderful thing, Brian. It is something, though, if you can understand, Yes. a, a difficult experience for most right now. Yes. Outwardly, there is insecurity in economy and politics in the land they lay. The systems and are going to have to change. They're going to have to shift in nature. They're going to have to be get away from the survivability yes. of the system. It's getting yes. into a win-win. It's where maybe make it where everyone is provided for their basic necessities their food water shelter clothing yeah, but yet yeah. if they want luxury they can work for it but at least create systems with these energy devices but also that they have to have self-empowerment the hope to give to themselves but yet yeah. to move them in a state of command to bring them hope where they can be self-empowered self-sufficient they believe yeah. in their self-sufficiency and yes. that lifts the planet. That vibration alone with love and understanding and compassion. That's what it's going to take to lift yes. this planet. Well, you're supporting our mission also. This yes. is wonderful. To have yes. humans from the planet who may view what is needed in the way that you do. Yes. It resonates with exactly that which is required of us. It's an, a union of, of such can be yes. very powerful. Yes, we thank and you. I'm going to work on the body and my physicality. That's fine because it helps me to give the message, to be more, to have the more encouragement, to yes. stay grounded and to yes. be powerful. Yes, and yes. love. Yes. yes, yes, it is important to be grounded. You are correct. Yes. So we, that's when another thing I'm we, learning. To, yes, <laughs> go ahead. Sorry, continue. <laughs> Yes, it's it's for me learning to balance my energies out. Um, you know, I, I have a very high sexual energy, so mm. if we if I need to work on that a little bit to balance that out, but uh, mm. that's the thing with me and learning about how our sexuality is tied to our 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 power in a way. Yes, our ability to create. Yes. May I ask you a question? Yes. Your sexual energy. Is yes. it causing you a problem in your life? Sometimes I feel a, it's it's more of a human need, a desire um, mm. of, of, of the sexual compassion with the female. So through my high school years, through my, mm. you know, down the road. So I never had those other experiences, but yet I limited myself in a way of protection, of protecting okay. myself from the outward environment. 
because I didn't want to get hurt. I didn't want to feel go through. I didn't want to go through uh, the pain again of knowing that I wouldn't be with this person eventually for the rest of my I life. For this one. So yeah. I I held back a lot of the energy. I I became kind of like a hermit. I became less sociable. Yeah. You know, yeah. I didn't want to get hurt again as I did long ago. Yes, so, this caused you depression. Yes, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, I'm exposing myself on here, but that's okay. It, it, it's to help other people too. So that's why I like to talk about it. It helps free the energy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. In that sense, where it would lead to depression, it's almost an implosion of your energy upon itself. Sure, sure. So you tend to curl yourself up into what is called the fetal <laughs> position when you move, <laughs> and you kind of view the world like this. Right, right, And right. this energy, <laughs> you have it all blocked off. With yeah, it's not body. attractive. It's not attractive anymore. No, it's not healthy. <laughs> It is a repellent. Yes. Yes. It is a misunderstanding. It is a useful idea. Uh, it is, uh, there is a learning curve involved in this. And I understand as you come to this point in your life that you would like to have this balance more yeah. so. I personally, myself, this is the Andrew's personal opinion here, <laughs> would like to see your needs fulfilled. Thank you. Rather man. than you having to balance them. <laughs> That's true. The there's idea. a blessing. Yes, there's a blessing behind it. There's something yes. I'm not looking at that yes, it it's inspires powerful. people. Yes. Mm. I've heard by the angels once that use more of this energy, bring it into your projects. So <laughs> yes. that's going to be yes. fun. <laughs> manifest, my friend. Manifest. Yes. Make it playful. Yes. Yes. Yes, that makes it even more powerful. That's true. And very yeah. often, a sexual experience, as you are being playful, may bring a very powerful past life remembrance. Yes, yes. It yes. can be a very bonding uh, yes. experience to have a joint remembrance in that situation. Yes. It is entirely possible. And for you, my friend, it is most possible. <laughs> but at a distance, that's fine. <laughs> yes. No, we will definitely keep you safe and bring you no harm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, yeah. it's really neat. I'm, I'm excited. I'm very honored. I just, it, it, that's one of my excitements as I was younger. Well, much love. If you have anything else or if you want to allow Alma talk to return, that's fine. But thank you, my friend. I will just check with him. Okay. Mm. Yes, he is saying thank you very much for your presentation. Thank for you. For this evening, he will bid you farewell. And okay. he bows to you, and we'll be in further contact with you also. Much love, my friend. Much love and light. Namaste. And you. And you. Namaste. I will bring back him. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I can't see what. Oh, there you are, Brian. <laughs> Sorry, my Yes. Uh, how are really, you? It's beautiful. Really? Yeah, Rui says he can't unmute. Is there a way?